Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Oler's Wallet. Welcome to this month's live stream, where tonight we're going to be talking about some benefit changes coming to the American Express Business Platinum. And of course, I'll be answering your questions, so be sure to ask your questions because that is my favorite part about these live streams is interacting interacting with all of you. So be sure to ask your questions. And I'll make sure I, we get to all of them or get as many as I can. But first, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about credit cards, credit card rewards, and showing you how to use your points and miles to travel for less. So I'd interest you, consider subscribing and turn the bell notification on as well. Also, consider giving the video a thumbs up. It does help the channel out. Now, I know if you've been watching the live streams, I typically do these towards the end of the month. But with Thanksgiving coming up and the holidays coming, I would really hate for you to have to bail on your friends and family to come here to watch a live stream. I'm just totally kidding. It just makes it easier for everyone to do this. So I'm happy to do a live stream now. Um, how's everyone doing tonight? But tonight, we're going to take a look at the four benefits American Express is cutting from their business platinum. And we're going to talk about, is the business platinum even worth it after this? You know, I think it's been a fringe card for a lot of people, but when you cut benefits, does it make it worth it? The first benefit that's being cut, we'll just jump right, right, jump right into it. First benefit being cut is the WeWork benefit. So this was the benefit they just added less than a year ago. And now if you've already, you know, they are discontinuing this as of January 1st of 2020. But if you've already enrolled in the program, you're good for the 12 months that you're enrolled for. And if you haven't activated it yet, you need to activate this by December 31st of 2019 or else you're going to miss out on this. And once you activate it, you are going to get your 12 months membership with them. Uh, but if you don't activate it by the December 31st, you will be out of luck because it is no longer going to be valid as of January 1st, 2020. And when it, when it came to the WeWork benefit, I did feel this was more of like a niche benefit for certain people. You know, some people it was going to make sense for other people. It definitely wasn't. Um, I know for myself, I would never have actually used this benefit because I don't even have WeWork here in Maine. Um, you know, and I think this is actually one of the benefits that helped American Express consider increasing the annual fee. So it kind of sucks to see them cancel it. And it hasn't even been a year yet. I mean, we saw this actually happen too with the, uh, when they had the 50% rebate, they knocked it down to a 35% rebate within a year anyway. So American Express, it would just be great if they could hold on to some of these benefits longer than what they're offering some of them for. Um, than what they're doing now. Um, you know, the second thing they're doing here is that they're going to be cutting the premium roadside assistance as well on January 1st. Now roadside, the roadside assistance was already being cut on a couple of their other, on their other cards as well. So I don't think it really should come as any surprise to people, but I do know there are some people I was looking in the forums, different Facebook groups, whatnot, that some people are actually pretty upset that they were cutting the roadside assistance, uh, from their personal cards. And, you know, I, I'll assume some people get upset about this as well because it was a nice benefit. You know, you had the roadside assistance at no additional cost and you can get other cards with roadside assistance, but they do charge you. A lot of cards do charge you for that benefit. So this was a nice way to get some free roadside assistance. Maybe save yourself some money on what we'll call like AAA or something. Now you kind of need that. Uh, but I, I'm really wondering how many people are truly utilizing this benefit because the trade-off here I think is you lose premium roadside assistance but starting January 1st, you're going to get travel protection benefits, that trip delay, the trip uh, the trip delay, trip cancellation, trip and uh, interruption coverage on this card. And for me, I think it's well worth the trade-off because if this card is being billed as a travel card, you would prefer to have travel benefits, I think. So, you know, it's a trade-off. Some people will be upset. I don't, for myself, it's not a big deal, but I know some people, they, they use this a few times. Uh, the next one is the GoGo Wi-Fi passes. Now, if you if you've ever used GoGo Wi-Fi, they're the Wi-Fi you can get on GoGo equipped uh, aircrafts, and with your business platinum, you get ten passes a year. Now, the passes are going to be expiring December thirty first of twenty nineteen, and you are not getting any new passes for twenty twenty. Now, this is actually going to hurt some people because if you can use it, it's a pretty awesome benefit. It's, it's, I felt it was pretty reliable. It's better than was it was the, the, the via stat, the Panasonic one, that one just sucks, but GoGo -Go is actually pretty good. And the issue I've had recently trying to utilize them is that some planes don't have it. You know, United is starting to roll out their own Wi-Fi. Uh, Southwest has their own Wi-Fi. You have the Panasonic and you have GoGo. -Go. So you can't always use it where you want. So if you value them and you get value from it, this is definitely going to hurt you because, you know, you could get work done on the plane. But one thing I wish they would have done, and I've been pretty, I think, vocal about this benefit, is why not get rid of the GoGo -Go just for GoGo -Go equipped planes, but but convert it to a generalized Wi-Fi credit. I've said it before. I think it'd be a great benefit for some bank to add to their cards. 
because there's now there's more players on the field for for Wi-Fi on when you're in the air. It would just be great to see them at it. You know, I know American Express does their um their uh their allowance based thing, like you're like a six year old. But you know that might have been be even better than the go than go go here because I know like the Southwest Performance Card gives you a credit, a lot of credits for their Wi Fi on Southwest planes. It would just have been great to see this premium card add some sort of generalized Wi Fi credit. Maybe it comes later. I'll stop. I'll get off my soapbox about that one. But if you are looking to use GoGo Wi Fi passes, there are other cards out there that offer it. One that comes to the mind is the Altitude Reserve. I know it's not a business card, but you know it does come with GoGo Wi Fi passes or the Flex Perk cards in general from US Bank does as well. Then number four, the Boingo Wi Fi hotspots are being discontinued as well on January first of 2020. Now this was actually mentioned. I think it was back in March. Uh, it was being discontinued. I believe it was for the personal platinum cards. Now they're going to be discontinuing it for the business platinum as well. If you don't know what Boingo is, it's a public Wi-Fi hotspot. They have over a million different Wi-Fi hotspots. You know, I've used it in the past, and I thought it was okay. It wasn't anything special. It wasn't super fast, but when you were in a when you were in a bind and you could hop online, it was nice. Uh, but it wasn't the best. But you know, it does suck to lose this benefit because for some people, they were using it in the airports. They were using it, you know, in certain venues and when they were traveling. So. You know, it can be helpful in many places, even if it wasn't the best one around. So there are a couple of benefits that are not being touched. Now, before people like start thinking about it, they're not touching the Dell credit and they're not touching that 35% rebate. Um, and, you know, but one thing we've seen with them get with that Dell credit, the American Express has been like petty and stingy with it because they're even adjusting that Dell credit for people who use the Dell credit with the American Express offer that was out there. And I just think that's ridiculous because I feel those offers are independent of each other. If you didn't want someone to use the Dell American Express offer, don't put it on their account. It, but if you're going to offer a credit, it's almost like if you had a, a the, an airline credit and you had a, Del, a Delta offer as well. And they were like, well, we don't want to credit you for both. They're, they're independent of each other, American Express. Like that's, that's just crappy of you. And the other one, the 35% rebate, I think is the is probably the best benefit on uh, remaining on the card. It's nice, but it is cumbersome. You're limited, and most people aren't going to hit this, but you're going to be limited up to uh, five, getting back up to half a million points per year, and it's not instant. You have to wait time. Like if, like with the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you get that one, you get that that one point five cent per point uplift when you go to book. With American Express, you need to have you redeem it one cent per point. You need to have all the points in your account, and they're going to refund you back thirty five percent at a later time. It would be nice to see that that rebate given up front. Um, as a whole, you know, and I did, and what happens with it too, like I said, it's not, not, I don't think many of you out there are getting half a million points back. Maybe some of you are, but not all of you. Um, but you know, you have to pick an economy fair. You can't use it on all airlines unless you're using it for business or first class flights. So it is limiting. It's more cumbersome. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. And for a car that's cost this much with this benefit, it'd be nice to see them truly offer, um, truly offer it across all airlines. And I don't think we're going to see this cut anytime soon because I think if they cut this one, they would need to cut that 25% rebate on the gold card, which they just recently added, which I mean, they could do, but I think if they, if they nerf those benefits, it makes it very, very hard to have any value on this card. You know, what really stinks about this is the fact they're cutting these benefits and they're not replacing them with anything. You know, I think if they were looking to cut some benefits that weren't beneficial to customers or for themselves, but replace them with something decent, you know, I think we can maybe get behind that. But yet this card is almost 600 bucks and they cut benefits, which is, makes an extremely expensive card. And I think it's just bad on American Express's part. And when you look at the bonus for this card too, it is really tier, it is really aimed towards businesses with higher spend because you have to hit that $25,000 tiered spend in a three month period. I don't know about you, but I know I can't hit that. And you know, it's just, it is aimed more towards that bigger businesses, I think. And for a car that is 600 bucks, I just think it makes it hard for people to justify keeping this because the Dell credit isn't exactly a killer benefit. You know, it is, you know, it's split into two $100 credits. Apparently now you can't even use it with the American Express offer or they prorate it back. It's just, you know, it, it would be nice to see something better. And not everyone shops at Dell. You know, I, I know Dell offers like some Bose headphones and some other things, but not everyone 
one utilizes that. So it is limiting to people. And so you might be able to get benefit from it or value, but you're not getting, it might be something you're not using on the day to day. And that airline credit, the $200 airline credit, it's not nearly as valuable as it used to be because you can no longer purchase gift cards with them. So $200, so you start stacking up these chips against it and it's just not really as attractive as it is. And if you're really looking at an American Express business card, I, you know, I think the business coal, the business gold is actually a more attractive offer than the business platinum. Sure, it doesn't give you the lounge access or the hotel status, but you know what? Those Forex earning categories are pretty good. So, and for most people, I think you'd be you'd be fine with that. You know, and in in, in the future, we might see uh, American Express come back and add benefits to this card. And frankly, I think they're gonna have to. Because if you're someone who's on the fence about this car to begin with, I think this is, I think you should just kind of stay away because outside of the a generalized big bonus, if you can meet that big spend requirement, it's very limited on what the benefit gives you here, I think. And with it cutting benefits, it's going to be less appealing to people who already have the card. So if you have it or thinking about getting it, I, you know, myself, I don't think this card is worth 600 bucks. Um, so, I mean, that's really what it comes down to. It's, it's not worth, it's not a $600 card. I don't care if it comes in a, if it's a metal card, if it comes, you know, I don't care if it's a, a platinum, it comes in platinum. Like it's just not worth what it is. Um, so I'll be curious. So let me know what you guys think of it. Do you think, uh, do you think the business platinum card is worth 600 bucks? Uh, because you know, it's, that's a hard pill to swallow. You cut benefits, don't add anything, but um, let's get to your questions, but first I'm going to quick, um, uh, let's get to your questions now. Oh, I got some good questions. Make sure to ask your questions. Like I said, this is really what these Q and A's are all about. And these live sessions are all about to answer your guys' questions and interact with everyone. Um, also, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen in the description or if you're my Facebook group, I do a uh, spread shop is someone I've partnered with for like Waller's wallet, t-shirts and merchandise and sweatshirts. Uh, there's a promotion right now. It's 20% off all of your purchases if you're purchasing between now and the 16th. So I'm just going to plug that real fast. But now let's get to your questions. All right. What's going on, uh, R uh, Ratimi? How you doing? Um, Samuel got in with the WeWork benefit. Awesome. Yeah. How are you liking the WeWork benefit so far, Samuel? Let me know in the comments. What's up, Casey? How's it going? Any other good options for roadside assistance? I don't think there are none that come to mind that are that doesn't cost anything. I know you can get it. There's a couple cards. I think Chase, the reserve, you can pay for it. Um, I know the altitude reserve, I believe I can pay for it, but it's not free. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that. I don't know if off the top of my head of anyone that still offer uh, a free roadside assistance. Sam, I'll have to look into that though. Let's see. Gervais, I've used the roadside assistance three times this year. What'd you use it for? I mean, if you're running out of gas, you know, that don't, don't be that person running on E all the time. Uh, what's going on, Mr. Chocolaza? How you doing? Thanks for American Express raising the fees and removing benefits. Yeah, Casey, that's something I, I've always struggled with American Express. They offer some really, they have some great perks. They have some great things going for them. And then they do stuff where it just scratches your head. Like, so now you offer better, you know, earning rates. We'll say on like the, like we'll say on the green card. Um, I'll just throw the green card out there. Like on the green card, but then you have like all these, you know, obscure credits for away and all this other stuff. So like, it, it would just be nice to see them be on a more level playing field as opposed to just trying to like always scheme and bait and switch it was I feel like they sometimes do. Uh, Edwin would use it twice here. It was a nice peace of mind. I can totally guess that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Zodiac says, guessing SoftBank didn't want to pony up the free WeWork memberships. I'm guessing not. You know, if they're, I can't imagine how they were making money on that deal it, because if they were, if American Express was offering, a, it was up to like $2,700 in value but you were getting, it was only for a $600 card. Like what was the real benefit for them? Probably there's a reason why we work is in such financial distress. They probably didn't know what they were doing. Um, hey Waller, what do you think about the American Express Alipo card? Uh, do you think the card is real? $1,500 charge card. You know, I saw it over on doctor of credit and I, he, they, they feel like they've got a really good source there. So you know, I'll wait to see when it comes because a green card was supposed to come out like eight months ago. Do I think they're working on something? I do. Because I think one of the big complaints about the platinum card is the fact that Centurion Lounge is just so overcrowded and everyone can get a platinum card. I mean, it's just so easy. And people might not be willing to spend, we'll say, $1,500 on a card, probably for some more obscure credits, probably for, you know, depending on the earning rates on it. But then one thing I've always thought about or have been thinking more about 
is so maybe let's just say it earns five X across all travel. Let's just let's just throw that out there. Five X on all travel. I have no idea what it's gonna offer. I haven't really looked too much into it. Um, but if five X travel at fifteen hundred dollars, even with some of these credits, if there's a card that's maybe we'll even say the reserve at three X, do you need to spend a lot of money on travel to make up that benefit or the, the annual fee cost? So with it there, is it gonna be worth it? Um could it be real? I think they are working on something. I'm just not sure what we would see come from it. Would level Wi-Fi credit? You and me both, Samuel. I think that would be a great benefit for people in general, just because of the fact, you know, Wi-Fi across the board. You know, you have your business platinum, you hop on a Southwest plane, you purchase Wi-Fi, it's covered. I mean, it's it would be a very easy credit for people to use. And it's just generalized. Like, I don't know why there's an issue there. Someone do it, please. Um, let's see the, uh, a polio card. Uh, I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's all liquid. It's kind of supposed to be like a intermediate between the platinum and the centurion card. And since the centurion card, the black card just raises fee to what? $5,000 or 7,000, whatever it is, stupid fees. Like it's not worth it for most people. And I think if you're just trying to flex with it, like, eh. but, um, it's going to be this intermediate. I would, I just, I wouldn't be shocked if we saw if they bring, when they bring that out or when it comes out, Centurion Lounge cut from the Platinum card, move to this, you know, middle, more mid, mid level, super premium card. Um, and maybe you have to either a purchase or you're given like one lounge access per year or something like that on the Platinum card to kind of maybe entice you up there. Um, but I'm curious what the credits would be. You know, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you got a $500 airline credit, it's still going to be crap because you got to like, it's so difficult to use. Samuel never used Boingo. Yeah, it was okay. I, I've used it in a couple airports. It would log on from my phone and it, it was decent, but it, was, it wasn't it was super fast. Um, and it did help in international airports when you're just kind of landing. Let's see. Shamrock says, I paid straight out of city. Offer a benefit, then strip it after the folks get the car. It seems like a bait and switch to me. Yeah, you know, I, I think it comes, I, I think it may be multifaceted here because one we work is financially, you know, crap. They didn't, it seems like they were just making all sorts of bad decisions. And then American Express, I mean, it, I go back to that 50% rebate. It was so good. They cut it down to 35% in the first year. Um, if they kept it 50%, you know, I actually may have kept um, that the business platinum for that 50% rebate because it was a really good offer. But at 35%, it just wasn't worth it, especially after they increased the fee up to 600 bucks. Uh, but definitely could be. Step below Centurion, yep, let's see. Uh, Shamrock says, and cutting the roadside on a business travel card seems silly. You fly, you rent a car, you need roadside assistance, a travel card that's getting rid of travel benefits. The roadside assistance, though, I think Shamrock with other cards, like if you looked at the reserve, you know, they, they make you pay for it. You know, but then again, you get, you know, um, you know, primary rental coverage. But I mean, like if you get a flat tire or something like that. Um, so it's not necessarily that they're pulling it, you know, when they give it, when they, um, they, they should have replaced it with something different as opposed to just pulling it, even if you have to pay for it. But um, yeah, let's see what's going on, Charles. How you doing, man? Let's see. Uh, Rakitukin, eBay, it's Rakitukin was offering Dell 11 MR points per dollar on a November 11th. You know, it's funny, Samuel, because if you look at the calendar for historical use, sometimes Dell goes up to like 20X on, on eBay, it's uh, Rakitukin. So keep an eye on it. I'm looking forward to Cyber Monday. Just because, and I'll be posting deals in my Facebook group about Cyber uh, about Cyber Monday deals, because one thing Dell does, and it's super awesome, you you take that American Express offer for 10% back, you get the extra point as well. And then if you're looking to either, like, if you're in the, TVs are, I feel like, a really good deal on Dell. I, I feel like I find one de deal every year where it's, like, a super good deal when you stack it. You'll get, like, a 65-inch, or there's even, like, yeah, 65-inch TV, 65-inch. They give you a gift card to Dell. You stack these offers. You end up net coming out. One year I found it was like net $250 for like a 65-inch TV that was like eleven or twelve dollars or $1,500. Like there's some good opportunities there uh, on Dell, especially if you're in the market for Bose headphones or maybe some other sort of noise-canceling headphones if you're not going to spend any money on Bose. But keep an eye out on Dell on, Bla on, Black on Cyber Monday. They have a lot of good deals as well. Let's see, Dustin, I think the travel protection only matters if you're booking round trip. If you're the type who may book revenue and order to come back, you lose that protection. Yeah, Shamrock, I agree. I think that kind of sucks that American Express made it a round trip ticket. It makes it more limiting. It's just like, it's just what they do. Just why you got to make it so much more limiting, American Express. 
um, that, that hurts because, you know, so, someone like myself, like occasionally I'll book a round trip ticket, but you know, sometimes I book one way on one set of points, one way on the other, you know, so it doesn't, it's not going to be beneficial for me as a whole. So my altitude reserve is still my go-to. Uh, I did find out my wife is 424. So she may get herself, uh, you know, a, she might get the reserve. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure yet how I want to plan that, but she's, she's, she's 424. And funny thing I was looking if I, February, I'm under 524. I don't know how that happened. Both. Of, I was pretty shocked about that. So, you know, I might be in the market for a chase card because I have enough points right now sitting on to, for next year's travel. So I might wait to see what comes my way. Let's see. Overall, the cut benefits aren't terrible for everybody. We'll add travel insurance. So they're bal- trying to balance it out. Edwin, I don't, I don't necessarily disagree with you on that, that, you know, that I don't think they're terrible for everybody. I think it just looks bad on American Express that you're cutting a benefit in WeWork that you just added less than a year ago. That was supposed that I think was a big reason why you increased the annual fee. You're cutting some protections for people who may have valued them in these other ancillary benefits, but you're not adding anything and you're not reducing the annual fee. And less than a year ago, you increased it almost 150 bucks. So it's just, if they add something to it, the travel protections are nice, but as you know, Shamrock put, it's got to be round trip airfare in order to get that. So it, it's, you know, there's, it's not as good as some of the other cards. So it's, it's not necessarily a terrible benefit cut for most people. It's just a bad look that you cut benefits on a $600 card and you don't add anything else to it. Let's see the Optio. Okay. Optio rumored. Yeah. Oh, I hate when YouTube does that. Okay. YouTube always just takes my comments right to the bottom. Let's see. AMX is the one who feeds the pigeons just to keep each other coming back. Yeah, you know, I love American Express. Like I said, I have this love hate relationship with American Express. Their cards how for some really good value, but I hate their incremental credits. I hate the fact it's still a lag. I feel on getting my points in my account. You know, if if Capital One can give my points the second a transaction post, I'm sure American Express can do the same damn thing. What's going up, Tyree? How you doing, man? Let's see. Dell is the absolute slowest to ship to my. To ship to any machine better offerings out there. Yeah, you know, I've never had an issue with Dell myself. Um, but it, yeah, I know some people have some issues with them. It's it's not the fat. I know I had to wait like a couple weeks one time to get a Dell computer. This was a couple years back, but I never had any issues with it. Bring the 50% rebate back and it's a keeper. Edwin, I don't think they're ever gonna bring that back. That would be killer if they did. And frankly, I would love to see them roll it out to their personal platinum as well. Like, why is the business platinum the only one that gets the rebate? When compared to the personal platinum, I mean, you can get the Schwab, but that's kind of just like, a, it's just a benefit of the Schwab card. And if that ever gets nerfed or reduced, and that that kills the benefit of the Schwab card. So let's see. I was looking at transfer partners for a booking. I discovered that I was actually with the American Express business, 35% was cheaper to book with than with points on AMX travel. Yeah, Samuel, that brings up a really good point too. So one thing I always tell people, uh, if you've ever watched the award booking demonstrations or ever reached out for you know advice, I always tell people when you look at the cash fares before you even look at transferring out, because you might see, like general generally speaking, you're looking at like sixty thousand round trip to Europe, you're looking at seventy thousand round trip to Asia in, in economy, what's like eighty thousand to South Pacific. Um, so you if you just keep those generalized point values in your mind, that's kind of like your baseline. And if some of these fares have been super, super cheap, I just posted it this this afternoon. It was in my Facebook group from Boston to Honolulu. It was only 350 bucks round trip in February. I don't know if you, any of you live up in the Northeast, but it sucks in the wintertime up here. So to get out to Hawaii will be worth it. And it was only 20, 26,000 ultimate reward points if you had the Sapphire Reserve. And tra- that makes it better than transferring out. And... American Express has these partnerships with airlines. So you get these deals along the way. So it's always good to check that out. That's uh, it's definitely worth doing because that 35% rebate could be better. Um, and I don't know if you follow uh, Spencer Howard's award award letters, uh, his newsletter that sends out. He's had a few of them recently too, where the Sapphire Reserve or the Business Platinum 35% rebate is better than transferring out because you also earn a ton, potentially a ton of miles, depending on how you book it redeemable. I mean, I think he, he posted one. It was like, it was 180,000, 170,000, I think membership reward points, but you earned like 30 or 40,000 Alaska miles, which is almost good enough for like a one way back over to Asia with a stopover. So 
there, if there's some good value in that, definitely check those out. Let's see. If we all, oh, let's see. Shamrock says, if uh, we all thought he was going to come back after with something after cutting the only thing we was ability to convert double cash to thank you points. That's okay, but nothing spectacular. Shamrock, I don't think they're done yet. I thought I think it's too soon for them to come back with a benefit right after they cut it. I do think the double cash was was a big benefit uh, for it, but hopefully we see because now they've kind of stepped down on the ladder, if you will. Hopefully they come back with some benefits that make up for it or even add some travel protection benefits uh, because it definitely, <laughs> I think that plan backfired on them uh, when American Express decided to offer it. Let's see. The American Express Business Gold bonus referral of seventy five thousand is better than the Business Platinum. Yeah, unless you, yeah, because it's what five thousand, five thousand for the seventy five thousand point or ten thousand. But that is better than the twenty five thousand you need to spend on the Business Platinum. Um, and the fees two forty nine. Like, don't get me wrong, that's still quite a bit of money, but it's you know it's half the cost of the Business Platinum. We work's been good. That's awesome to hear. Let's see, would American Express revoke my account if I liquidated a gift card in order to get the travel credit on the America on the uh, on the Amex Gold? Let me read it one more time. If, would American Express revoke my account if I liquidated a gift card in order to get the travel credit? You can't, Cameron, if you're what you're asking, you can't purchase a gift card anymore. That loophole that loophole's dead. So even if you tried to, it doesn't trigger out. Like it, it doesn't post uh, if that's what you're asking. Um, but I, I would be careful right now, especially after the recent shutdowns with American express, I would not give them any reason to come after you, uh, because people, people are, were losing big, big number of points. So, um, for right now, especially as we kind of see what's going on, I'm sure we're not done seeing waves of shutdowns. This was just wave one. You know, I think we'll see more waves in the upcoming months. So I would be, I would tread carefully with that, but the gift card loophole no longer works. And people who were, purchasing refundable fares for months in advance, waiting for the credit and getting the credit somehow and then canceling it. I think they were seeing it reversed as well. And I just would be very careful playing that game with American Express. Um, let's see. Alberto says any business card category, any American Express business card category for groceries. I don't, does the business gold, let me, let me check real fast. I don't think the business gold has that. The one that comes to mind, I mean, is two X, um, is the the blue business plus but i don't think does the gold card business gold nope not there business gold does not so none that i can think of alberto uh that from american express that offers for business cards the blue business plus is 2x that would probably be the closest one i can think of let's see sammy loses occasionally it's nice free workspace coffee beer come in handy when there was blackouts here in the bay that's always good if you if you need to get in there Let's see. Casey says, even if it's unrelated change, Chase gets better by doing nothing. Every other company keeps changing their cards and benefits. You know, Casey, I, I have to agree here. We always, someone actually mentioned it in my, in the Facebook group that um, Chase, you know, people hate on Chase because they need to do something. And sure, the reserve isn't as flashy with its 3X. And I agree, it's not flashy with the 3X, but everyone makes it so Chase doesn't need to do anything. You know, if banks would stop cutting these benefits, you know, Chase, as much as I want Chase to refresh the reserve to give us four or five X on something, really, you know, it's a broad category. It's broad three X on travel. You know, they still have better lounge access for priority pass than American Express. You get primary rental coverage. You know, you get the 1.5 cent uplift, even though that's not perfect. You get that rebate up front. So like, Everything the banks or other banks are doing, Chase is just Chase has improved their their status by not doing anything when we were really hoping that they would have to improve. So I do agree with you there. We work is going down yet. Let's see. Um, man, I wish that YouTube would stop doing that. Let's see. Joker speaks. I just signed up last night. I'm in for the 35% airline discount, the cruising perks, an easy five to six hundred dollars value just through those perks alone. That's fantastic. You know, I, I think I have, I think you've mentioned before, Joker, that the 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 cruise benefits are pretty good through that. Let's see. Um let's see. Jer Jervis says we'll use for a tow to the dealership two times. My little sister was on the other side of Houston, blow a tire, gave the authors here. It's yeah, it was, it was definitely good to have when you needed it for that roadside assistance. It basically took the place of what AAA would be. Uh, but now, you know, you might need to have AAA just to get that there. 
Um, let's see. Let's see. Best blah, 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 blah. All right. I would be careful, Samuel. Uh, so Samuel says to Alberto, uh, the best business card, probably the Blue Business Plus, unless you're using gift cards somehow. You know, I know people I know people might think it's more geared towards um, like the Visa gift cards and MasterCard gift cards. But I would be cautious with American Express buying a larger number of gift cards right now. I d like I said in one video, I don't think you're going to get any any flack for a gift card here and there. Like I think they expect that. But if you're if you're spending a lot more money on gift cards at the grocery store, I think, you know, you're going to, you might get looked at here because, you know, if, if, if the, if the one theory is that the, the self referrals were done so they could catch gamers. Okay. That they, they, they have, they're there. They have that, that route there. But, you know, when they refresh the gold card to 25 grand in, in a year, my, my thought was, how many people went from 6,000 a year to 25,000 a year? And how many people truly spend $25,000 a year on groceries? I, I'm, I'm going to go not many. So if, you know, if their long-term plan is to find people who are doing stuff they shouldn't be doing or buying a bunch of gift cards, it's, I think it would be easy for them. But um, that's my own theory on that. But I, I would just be cautious buying a ton of gift cards on American Express. What's going on? Um, uh, Ask a night. How you doing? Let's see. Um, I think adding travel protections make booking you AMX travel 30% a good option. Yeah, Samuel, if you're going to be booking through the American Express travel portal and you were booking a round trip ticket, there's nothing wrong with those, you know, travel protections. It's it's six after six hours, you know, the trip delay. It is a really good benefit for those round trip bookings. No argument there. Let's see. Uh, let's see, Samuel, right along with stacking inside our fares. Yep, yeah, okay. Alejandro, how's it going tonight? Um, hi, Platinum Biz costs really 195 with use of Dell and the airline credits. I've used 35% rebate twice this year. It's my favorite perk, renewal in January. Thinking of renewing two years ago, I got 0% deal for nine months. See, I don't disagree. If you were going to spend $200 at Dell to begin with, if you were spending that money at Dell to begin with, then I think you can utilize that. But if you're spending money just to spend the money for credits, I've always had a different look at that. So let's say Dell gives me, let, let's say American Express offers a new benefit where I can get a hundred dollar. I'll use the away credit. Actually, let's use the away credit. I, I, Cause I've been seeing people do this pretty frequently. Well, that, you know, I, it nets down my green card from 150 to, you know, 50 bucks because I get the away credit. Well, that's fine. If you were going to purchase away anyways, you could take the hundred dollars off. If you're buying something from away, to get the credit, I've never thought of that as, as reducing your effective annual fee. And if you're going to say that, then when that bag costs you $147, you need to add the $47 to your effective annual fee because now you've spent more money on a bag you may not have already been purchasing. That's always been my view on it. I know sometimes it's different for people on this, but I stay true to that. And just the fact that if you're going to subtract the credit and you spend over that or you weren't doing it anyways, I don't know if you can truly value that at a hundred percent. I mean, just like the airline credits, you know, you can purchase, uh, you know, American airline gift cards at a discount. You can use American express offers at a staples or, you know, using a chase offer at a Lowe's and save yourself money on flying. So, you know, I've never valued those airline credits at a hundred percent either, because there's ways to reduce your cost by purchasing another gift card or something along the way. But I don't disagree. If you're spending them anyways, you can reduce it. But um, the 34% rebate is great. But sometimes I, I definitely have a different outlook on the effective annual fee process by people, how people look at that. All right. Let's see, are you going to go to city? You know, I've, I'm waiting for my, um, I'm waiting for my clock to reset to get the premier card. I have to wait, I think another eight months for it. Um, but I will go back and probably get the premier card because city points I can use pretty well. Um, and I'm, I would be happy with that. I keep getting an offer though, from city to convert my city dividend card to this cash reward plus. Um, and I'm, I would do it only if I wasn't gonna lose the, the, the sign up bonus opportunity, but because I'd be going from, I, there's that potential, I'm going to hold off on it. Uh, but when I do eventually get the premier, I might do that. Just because I do make a lot of smaller transactions, I'm realizing coffee here, something small at the grocery store. 
Troy can definitely utilize those that round up to 10x or the 10 points per dollar for the roundup. So those small purchases would be very beneficial for me. My person, Charles says, my personal favorite American Express card is the everyday preferred. Charles, I think that is an extremely undervalued American Express card. I know we look at the gold card and these blue business plus things like that. And blue business plus is actually a really good card too. And the gold card is a really good card. But for someone who wants a very simple card rotation, a pretty much a one card opportunity to earn points, the everyday preferred is real. I, I think a really good card. You know, you don't need to do a whole lot with it. You just, you know, get your 30 transactions a month. You know, if it's your, you get your three X on gas, four and a half at the grocery store, 1.5 X everywhere else isn't terrible. I mean, people do that with the, the freedom unlimited. So that's not terrible to me. I think that is an undervalued card. Um, um, let's see, man, YouTube keeps doing this. Let's see. Let's see those deal from Boston to Hawaii saw it on secret flying. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a good deal in there. I think I don't really, <laughs> I, I'm not the biggest fan of secret flying only because there's been historical information. Like they steal deals from people. They do post deals. Uh, but I don't, because they've been known to like rip off like the flight deal or airfare spot who I think has different deals as well. Um, I've always had an issue with that, but they do show those things that, you know, they, they, cause they label everything as an airfare and I don't, or a mistake fare and not everything's a mistake fare grabs your attention. But yes, th those were definitely going around. I think Dallas had it as well. Um, I think it even, I even saw DC was offering and I think from D Dallas, it was to Maui, not even to Honolulu. Let's see. But I do have five, the max of five credit cards and three charge cards. Okay, Charles, let's see. What's going on, champ? Greetings from Cancun. What are you doing? Like, how is Cancun, champ? Um, you know, I, 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 I would love to be in Cancun right now. The weather, I'm sure, would be much better than it is here. I think it was 12 degrees last I looked outside. We have snow on the ground here in Bangor. So it kind of sucks right now here in this area. Let's see. Uh, Yichin says, was reading city. Thank you rule. I'm wondering if I can open four premier card, open four premier cards. They won. Um, I don't think that would work. Yichin. No, because you're not going to, if you're only out, you're going to get one bonus every 24 months. Oh, after you open or close it, you would need to open it, keep it for two years, open it again. Uh, but I don't think that loophole would work. I've never read anything about that. Um, I don't think that would work at all. I, I, I mean, in, I don't, yeah, I don't think that would work. Um, I've never read it working. I've never seen anybody even attempt it, but the way the system works, I don't think you would be able to get that. That's just, that's just my gut on that one. Alberta says familiar with the Ibotta app. They give a percentage back when shopping. There's a feature called pay with Ibotta essentially gives you a gift card code to use the store. Uh, should users be wary? Alberto? No, I've seen this app as well. I actually use the use Ibotta quite a bit. Um, it's basically you're just buying a gift card to use at your purchase. The other app that I use sometimes that gives me or miles is the United uh, M MPX app where you get United miles that post instantly to your account. It's a great way to reset the expiration on United. Well, they no longer expire, but it did whenever they were expiring. Um, I don't think you need to be weary about that. I just wouldn't buy excessive amount of gift cards. So just to have it, but if you're going up to the register and you know your total is going to be $87 and 13 cents and you can purchase that it would be useful to do so I don't I don't think you need to be wary about that the best grocery card is the everyday preferred if you do 30 transactions you get four points four and a half points per dollar that's true Charles if you can do the the purchase transaction on it four and a half points per dollar for groceries is fantastic uh, what card offer roadside assistance now just the Ritz and the CSR I think there are a few other premiums I think you know the altitude reserve offers it as well for a fee I'm pretty sure um a couple other, I think the CNB, did CNB cut it? I know they were cutting a ton of benefits on that card. Um, I know the, the the Ritz card and the CSR does as well. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to maybe make a video on cards that offer roadside assistance, just because that seems to be a common thing I'm seeing here now. Uh, so my, let me know if you want to make a video on roadside assistance videos, be, or roadside assistance cards, because if you use that benefit. Uh, let's see, I'm an authorized user on Wife's Chasing Cash. Chase asked for social security number and gave me my own credit card number. I want to get my own chasing cash. I remove my tomorrow from me as an authorized user first. Andy, you can get the bonus on your own chasing cash. That would not be a problem. 
Yeah, you can be an authorized user and get that. So you can have Removia if you want, uh, but there's no, you, you, you will still get the bonus if you decide to keep it. Oh man, this is so killing me, YouTube. What are you doing here? Samuel says, yeah, I don't buy gift cards using American Express. Thinking, I think given the American Express order in Forex, it's not worth the risk. That's, that's, um, that's kind of my idea on it, but I know some people are more, you know, They'll, they'll push their luck on it. And every once in a while, I will as well uh, with American Express. But I'm holding tight because in two days, I get like 72,000 membership reward points um, from that transaction from LifeLock. So I'm kind of like hoping nothing comes. I've never self-referred. I really do use my cards only for American Express offers now. Um, so I'm kind of wondering like at some point, are they going to come for me? Like I'll tell you like, I, I lost a little bit of sleep worrying about this because I have, after those come in, I'll have like 300, like 380,000 points, 370,000 membership reward points. So I'll burn them this year. I think this year might be the, 2020 might be the year of a couple more business class trips just to kind of burn some of these points I have sitting around just because of the fact that evaluations are coming. They seem to be coming all the time. And I have plenty of points to, you know, maybe fly one leg in business if I really wanted to. Yeah, Andy's Andy is 020. Oh, yep. Then Andy, I don't think you should have any issues at 024. You know, they might ask for paperwork from you if it's your first chase card, but I would do that. Alberto says, I watched one of your earlier videos. So young and so serious. Keep rocking it. Yeah, I think Alberto, when I watched back my, my first videos or some of my older ones, I kind of cringe because I was I was very, very soft spoken. And you know, I didn't I feel like the more I do videos, the more comfortable I get. And that's a another reason why I do the lives is that I I get more comfortable with it. I think my first live, oh man, I, if I ever go back, watch my first live, it was, I stuttered. It was a lot of pausing. I think I looked more at my, my writing than I did at the camera. Um, so it just gets better at time, but yeah, man, I, I love this stuff. Let's see. Chase doesn't really have a good grocery card. I think, uh, which is where I've heard people say they'll buy a grocery gift card to compensate. Yeah, Samuel, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that in 2020, Chase re revamps the Sapphire Preferred to have a grocery store bonus. That would be fantastic. I would love that. I'm sure plenty of people out there would love it as well. Um, but yeah, you know, I see people buying gift cards for grocery stores. If I'm going to do that, though, I'm probably going to use like my Chase Inc. cash at a Staples where it's a little bit safer. I even have, I know, like, I don't know if you guys have Hannaford's in your area, but I have, for example, like a 5% uh, chase offer at, at Hannaford. So like they do have some offers there or like I got 15% at Lowe's. So you can buy a local gift card at Lowe's to get the 15% back as well. So like there are opportunities with chase cards as well. I just would not be screwing with American express on that right now. Let's see. Um, so does the city transfer rate? So does city double cash transfer to the premier at one to one? Yes, it does, uh, Charles. So when you have the double cash, you can transfer it over to the city premier or prestige at a one to one ratio. Uh, just remember though, typically when you transfer points between, uh, they usually expire within ninety days. So have a plan before you transfer over. There's no harm to let them sitting in your account, but once you transfer, make sure you have a plan with those. Um, let's see. Just my concern with American Express becoming stricter. Like most of my spend on American Express is just bonus category, and I keep cards for the annual, keep cards for the annual discounted free net award. Casey, I don't think that's a problem in using cards for the bonus categories. I think that's what they would expect people to do, um, and we're we're definitely in a minority of people, right? Like most people aren't maximizing every dollar. I mean, Jesus, how many people how many people pay still with a debit card, or they just use a one percent cash back card, not knowing that they can earn two percent? Or they don't think it's worth it. Um, so I don't think that's that's the issue whatsoever. And keeping it for the discounted free nights or award, you know, I don't necessarily know if that's a terrible thing that they're doing as well. The one thing I'm that I wonder is going to be shut down at some point is that upgrade, downgrade, up, upgrade offer with the Hilton cards. People had a ton of Hilton cards for that. You know, I've seen people have like three of them so they can keep upgrading between the no fee to the surpass, to the aspire and rinse and repeat. And I think they're going to catch on to that because there's really no reason to have three Hilton cards unless you're gaming it. So um, I'd be careful with that. But like I have the Aspire. It, it gets used for my lounge, but I, I keep it for the benefits. I keep it for the lounge and I keep it for that free night certificate. That's really the only reason why I keep the Aspire. Like I don't, I don't really use it. It's, it's, it's in my drawer. Um, let's see. What if the next day they decide I'm gaming the system 
or unprofitable and shut me down. I, I wouldn't worry so much about that Casey right now. I think right now they're looking for bigger fish. Like I, I understand like people are worried about it and myself included. Um, but I think if you're not self-referring, you know, I I've seen a couple people say like manufacturer spending was one uh, people in there who were spending big money weren't being shut down. It was more so self-referring. I saw multiples of the same card re- gaming, the over pay over time system. I don't think using your card at, you know, if you're earning four X at the grocery store and that's all you're using it at, I don't think they're going to come for you for that. Like they expect you to use it at four X at the grocery store. And if they want you in the ecosystem, then yes, they would expect you to use like the blue business plus for a non bonus spend. But the problem is, is if you're buying a bunch of visa gift card, not even that, even that, but if you're referring yourself for those bonus points, that's not what they're really intending. So I, I don't necessarily think it's worth worrying about for that right now. Not until we see data points out of them actually doing it. And if by some chance some of us are at that point, there were data points showing if you called in immediately, you could move your points out, find out a program, and then I would like to move them out. That's what I would do. And if you're really, truly worried about that, maybe you've done something that's questionable, you know, you could always get the Schwab Platinum and cash out or transfer them to a program. Uh, But I wouldn't worry so much about it if you're just trying to maximize your bonus categories. Um, Let's see. It would be amazing if Chase launched a grocery store card that earns ultra rewards. However, the problem... See... It, I agree, Edwin. If it, the problem is of being the five twenty four rule, I think where people would become into, it would come into benefit was is product changing. You know, if you have, let's say, a Freedom Unlimited, but also the Ink Unlimited, people might convert their free, uh, Freedom Unlimited over to this card that earns it. So I think we could see people convert cards depending on how well it works for them. Because like we use the people use the Freedom card. But not everyone likes the rotating categories or figuring out which categories to use. So, you know, they might just say, hey, I'd rather just a straight 3X or 4X on grocery spend, if that's, let's just say what it is, and forego that 5X rotating category just for their ease of use. Let's see. Um, Let's see. I'm applying. I hate when they do this. Have I said that? They keep knocking my comments all the way down. I would say, if I'm planning on applying for a business card soon as a sole proprietor, I don't have any profits yet, is this, but is this legal? Yeah, and that's totally a legal way to still get it because most people in their, when they're starting out aren't making anything. I've gotten plenty of business cards and plenty of people have reporting a zero income. You know, If you made $100 selling something online, put $100. I'm on the, I'm, I'm on the side though of more, being more honest. If you've only sold you know, $200 worth of stuff, could you put 300? Yeah, sure. Should you put two grand or 20 grand? No, no, you shouldn't. Uh, Cause you never want to, um, you never want them to request paperwork that you don't have. Cause that looks really, really bad for you. But yeah, zero, zero profits. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I think the, the key word when it's calling in is you're looking to keep your personal and your business expenses separate. That has always been like a key phrase for me. Cause that just shows I have expenses. I'm just looking to keep my bookkeeping as you know as as clean as possible. That's always been that's always been the one that worked for me. Uh, do you mind expanding on your hesitation with Secret Flying? I don't let our app. Some deals are great. You use Priceline, Alejandro. It's nothing I have against like their deals. I think their deals are fine, but they've been known to just take deals from other people who have found them. Um, and that was always my issue with them is that they find deals, market it themselves put mistake fare at the top. So it gathers attention when sites like the flight deal who are very, very good, uh, they might be taking it from them. And I know people take stuff from different places all the time, but they've been caught a handful of times. And that just for me, like I look at their deals, I get them sent to my, you know, my Facebook stuff, but, um, they're not one I, I, I go to on, on the regular, just because of the fact I would prefer to go to people who I know are offering a lot of value. And like, I think the flight deal is really good, but there's nothing wrong with the secret flying. It's just a personal issue I have with them. Let's see. Shamrock says folks are sleeping on the word. Plus I kill it with my daily coffee fix at one, you know, dollar, a little over a buck for 10 points. My chewing gum habit, sunflower seeds, the small plate, the small purchases definitely make it a fantastic use uh, for those people. And as I look more at my transactions for myself, I do make smaller number of transactions to where it would be very beneficial for me. I just don't want to screw myself out of a bonus for the premiere in, you know, a handful of months. Cancun is great. Awesome champ. Love to hear that. Mr. Chocolazo chase Inc. cash is great at 5% cash back. That is a fantastic card. I think it is probably their best card in their portfolio. 
Um, wouldn't it be great if Chase introduced a like a an ink reserve, if you will, that offered five X at the office pleasures, but also tra- uh, let you have transfer partners? That'd be great. I feel like they're they're missing a um, an ink reserve, like they have like a sapphire reserve. You know, it'd be great to see them maybe introduce a premium business card. Let's see. The Cashback Premier Rewards Plus is a very cheap ecosystem that covers all the spectrum very well. I agree with that, Shamrock. I think for many people that would work. Um, if I think the issue with many people in that ecosystem is that city points aren't necessarily the easiest to use. So it would definitely take some work for people to learn how to utilize city points. But it is a very good three-card ecosystem um, as a whole. But I do agree with you. <laughs> So let's see. I was hoping they would allow you to have the Sapphire Preferred and Reserve again that added grocery to the preferred. I think if they allow that, if they were to make a change, they may allow that in the future. I mean, you can still get both. It's pretty, it's a slippery slope with Chase to do that. Um, I don't necessarily recommend it, but you can you can still get both um, if you apply for the cards in the right fashion. Let's see. After I apply for the Ink Unlimited, do you think I should go for the Hyatt card? or the Chase Freedom Unlimited for the easy bonus. Um, if you're getting the Ink Unlimited, I don't think you need the Chase Freedom Unlimited. It's a duplicate card. The bonus on the Hyatt card, I think, is going to be a better bonus over the Freedom Unlimited. Um, so if, if you're going that route, I would go Hyatt card over Freedom Unlimited poop head. By the way, love your name. Say it every time. Okay. Shamrock says, in my opinion, even with the Carlton card, the better option for travel protections. The American Southern, and I love the Visa Infinite Discount. That is a great benefit of the Ritz-Carlton card is that 100% Visa di- uh, Infinite Discount. Um, and the travel protections are fantastic. You know, you don't, you don't have to book a round trip on them. So it is beneficial for them, absolutely. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, where did it go? Let's see. Amex should come out with a car that you can pick your categories. And you'll feel to go up based on the categories. Holy crap, Charles. I have a video coming out on something like that. I think I think like in the next week of something like that. Um, that's always something I th- wish a bank would do, but um that that's a video to come because yeah, uh, are you are you in my are you in my videos here? Uh you that bit, there's a video coming out of my thoughts on that in a couple weeks actually. Let's see. I product changed my city honor reserve uh, my city honor card to double cash years ago so now I'm still a Hilton Gold. Because I think I product changed it instead of canceled. No, Andy, you probably should have lost that. But I, I, I wouldn't even mention that. Keep that to yourself, man. That that's that's great. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. You probably should have lost that when you got rid of the card, maybe after a certain amount of time. But if they kept you at Hilton Gold, just keep that to yourself. I wouldn't even mention that. That's that's a great thing. Chris says, "How can I get the Ritz Carlton card? Currently, Chris, the way you can get it, you have to get a Chase Marriott card." Wait a year, and then you can upgrade to it currently. I believe that avenue is still going on. They may shut it down at some point, but you need to upgrade a Chase Marriott card to the Ritz-Carlton. It's no longer accessible applying for it. Let's see. Um, Oh, thank you for the super chat, Charles. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. All right, let's see. All I know is that the grocery store by my house will not let you buy Visa or gift cards with Amer- and American Express cards with a credit card. They make you pay cash, use ATM. Some do that, uh, Charles, just because of the people who were money laundering, like actual people who were doing stuff they shouldn't be doing, not people like us who are looking just to get points. Um, and I know some stores do that. So it kind of sucks people who are looking to score some extra points, uh, but that is something that banks do. Let's see. Uh, Champ says, I was uh, planning on applying for plan on applying for the business gold to get the elevated bonus and the Delta business platinum within the next couple months. Given the recent actions by American Express, should I s- spread out those applications? Um, I'm scared to close American Express cards now. You're still playing by their rules in doing that. You're not gaming it by they allow they allow those one credit, one charge card on the same day. Um, if you're nervous about it, you could extend extend it out. I, you know, personally for myself, I, I might, um, you know, I might it roll that out a little bit, but you know, it all depends on your your risk level, what you're okay with. Um, there's nothing saying you can't do it. I don't think they're thinking you're abusing the system by opening a Delta Platinum and then the Business Gold. They're very different cards. 
Uh, but it all depends on how much you are wanting to risk things. I guess how comfortable you are with, with that. Me, I don't think it's an issue though. Let's see. Visa Infinite for business is new. Um, is I, I'm not sure I understand. It, it would be awesome if they were to do that for business platinum. Um, or yeah, for a, a, a Visa Infinite for business card, that'd be fantastic. Alberto says, have both the ink preferred and ink cash and never dropped or lost, stolen, broken a phone. Should I still pay cell phone with 3X or get the 5X? Oh man, Alberto, that's, that is completely up to you. For me, I pay with cell phone protection because the second you take it off, it's usually the time you drop the phone right on the screen and break it. Um, and for me, I think the protection is worth for going the extra points. Uh, but you know, I never dropped my phone till I was in Paris and I was scootering through and I, sh and I broke the back at like the whole back of it. Cause I was on a lime scooter like this, like on the cobblestone and my pop socket falls off. It goes up and just drills into the cobblestone and it was game over for my phone. So, um, you know, I, it always seems to happen when you get rid of it. But for me, I'd keep this, I'd keep the three X for the protections over, uh, the extra points. Julio says, Turn this off real fast. All right. Julio says, Do you know if I can pay for my clear with American Express green card? I still get the $70 price because I have the Delta card or I have to pay. Nope. Um, it's, I think it's one night, which if you, you can, you get the benefit with the card, but you can pay for clear with the green card. You shouldn't have to pay for the clear with, um, with the, 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 the Delta card to get it that you can pay. You should be able to pay with your green card and get it too. Um, can I upgrade Zach says, can I upgrade my gold card to the platinum Schwab? No, you need to apply for that one. I don't, I've never, I don't think I've ever read of somebody actually upgrading cause it's a different, it's a different product altogether. You can upgrade your gold card to like the vanilla platinum, but you need to apply for the Schwab. Um, let's see. Let's see. Think city still reports that you have, um, record. Um, I would keep that as is. I mean, I should have converted over and I see that on mine, but definitely worth just that. That's awesome for you though. Andy, do you think Charles, do you think high will come out with a premium card? I, I don't think they will. I wish they would, but I don't know. I think they're kind of happy with their point system the way it is. Cause I think if you do introduce a new card, it might need to be, you might, they might need to devalue their points, but I've said before, I think their points are going to be devalued anyways. They've, they're, they're so valuable and right now they're far more valuable. Um, they're far more valuable than, than the next one. What I th think it would be Marriott. Let's see a uh, random question. Any opinion on why folks give chase trouble? Folks give chase trouble for 524 when you can wait. Can you can, when you can, after waiting the bonus, get it again, but don't give the same trouble to Amex. You know, I think it's because well, one of the people don't like it because it alters their strategy. Well, like, for example, like I've always said, once you're past 524, you can move on. There's no need to like alter your strategy. There's too many good points out there to get it. And with American Express, while well, they have their, their once at a lifetime rule, which is, which is challenging, they have a ton of cards. Like think of ultimate reward cards. You know, you get the, the Sapphire Reserve or preferred a couple ink cards, the freedom, freedom unlimited, and you're pretty much there. American Express has far more membership reward earning cards and your it's in their cards that come out too with the no lifetime language. So you can get the bonus again in the future. Um, I know I've gotten the, the premier rewards gold or the gold card two or three times because of the fact it had, I've gotten it with no lifetime language. And although I canceled it a handful of months ago, I would get it again if they gave me a bonus for it and said it was no lifetime language. So I think it's just because people alter their strategies and they really, they really value chase points and they, they, they have to alter their strategy with American express. It's one and done with chase. If you want to get it again, you have to, you have to alter your strategy for people. And I think that's where people give them a lot of crap. Um, let's see. I think it's funny when people say they hear they break their phones at work and instruction. Yeah, man, I don't typically drop my phone, but, um, I did when I was over, um, when I was in Paris and I've dropped it, I dropped my Samsung once or twice too, when I had it, but, I haven't dropped my iPhone recently, so which is good. And I, it, I'm very happy about that. Um, let's see. Everyone just needs a fake case on their phone. Yeah, I mean, I, I like, I, I like my phone. Just you know, just 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 without a case, it's nice. Um, 
Are they going to do anything to the platinum card since all the other card charge, all the ch other charge cards have, uh, all since all their charges have been uh, updated? I don't know if they're going to do anything with the the platinum card. I would like to think they will, um, but I'm not sure. I'd hope I would hope they would add a different bonus category to it outside of just you know the the five X for the airfare with directly with airlines or you know through the travel portal. Um, I would love to see them add. Uh, a generalized travel category or some maybe better dining category for it. Cause right now I, I still don't think it's like a fit, like it's good for if you're paying for airfare, but you know, I don't pay a whole lot for airfare. So for me, it's just for the benefits and you know, you have to be flying Delta, get into the sky club and you know, Centurion lounges are over packed right now. And if they nerf the Centurion lounge for this mid level upper tier luxury card, you know, we'll call we'll just call the 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 uh, the poor man centurion card is that we're gonna call it so you can get your super cool flex value with this card so you can be like, well, I'm not quite centurion card level yet, but like I'm right there. Um, you know, it would be, you know, I, that's what I think there. Um, let's see. Why won't Capital One product change a quick server to saver? I've been seeing this more frequently. Um, I they just it might be just cracking down on product changes. As a whole, I know, I think for a while they were allowing people, but the saver card is so valuable that people are wanting it. Um, let's see. So um, I, I think I've still seen people, some people get it through, but it's it's not as common. Um, it just, just, they just might not be wanting people to do that and apply for it. Um, let's see. I'd make the, I'd love to see if they made the platinum travel card easier to use. Like I said, 5X and travel would be, dining would be nice. Yeah, I think it would be nice to see them match at least dining. For 5x, I don't think we're going to see an overall travel for 5x. If we saw that, it would be outstanding. I'm just not sure we're actually going to see 5x on all travel across the board. It'd be super awesome if we did, though. All right, let's see. The vanilla platinum is one to 2x on points on everything. Yeah, I, I think it'd be interesting if they made it a 2x category for non bonus spend um, and kept the multipliers. I, I, I don't think that'll happen, but I think that would be pretty awesome if they were to update that. Let's see. Shamrock says I'm having Harper from City. They truly jacked in my ecosystem when they nerfed the travel protections. <laughs> I think you and a lot of other people, Shamrock, you know, uh, just because like those cards are so expensive and it's just not worth it in general. I think now to put travel really on it, even with five X on airfare, then again, you know, if you really value city points, maybe you will. Uh, but you know, that was one crap. Well, it's always one thing we talked about with um, American Express where they added putting 5x on America, the platinum card just wasn't necessarily the best move. You, most people would still go with the 3x on the reserve. What's going on, Jessica? How you doing tonight? Thanks for popping in. Let's see. In the end, I'm still in the end, I'm still keeping the business platinum. As long as it works for you, that is all that matters. I can say the card sucks. You know, Sebastian and Sebi can say it sucks. Ben Ben can say it's great or it sucks. But as long as it works for you, that's all that matters. Like if you're getting value, it doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what other people say. Really, that's what it comes down to. Like, um, I always find it great when people find value in cards that maybe I don't find value in or maybe someone else does. You know, it's just great to see if someone gets value and knows how to utilize it. That's all that matters. Um, let's see. Any rumors what Chase is up to? They're due for some changes. I haven't read anything. I know that they're thinking about refreshing the look of the reserve. I think if they're just refreshing the look, it would be really disappointing. So I do think if there's rumors of them up refreshing the way the card looks, I think we would see something um, with some earning category changes. Not sure what that would be. Some benefit changes. Hopefully it's nothing too drastic on the negative side. Hopefully it's more positive. But it, frankly, with everyone else doing everything that's, I feel like pulling stuff away, if Chase just kind of did minimal stuff to it, it would be beneficial for people. And I don't think anybody would complain. I would like to see them... Um, I would like to see their Expedia portal be more close, uh, offer up more options like Expedia as opposed to what they're doing now. It doesn't always match up. It's been one of my problems with it. Um, but, you know, I'm sitting on quite a bit of chase points. So if the 1.5x would be great if it matched or, or, or give me like a real time mobile rewards like the Altitude Reserve. If Chase gave me a real time mobile rewards like the Altitude Reserve, I could be swayed away from the altitude reserve just because the chase ecosystem then at that point becomes very easy, very simplistic, very lucrative for me to book travel however I want and utilize that. That'd be fantastic. 
All right, I'm going to have a couple more minutes because it seems like my little guy is up right now. So I got a couple more minutes, and I'm going to go upstairs and take care of him. But let's see. I've heard American Express issued a new $1,500 uh, between the Centurion. What's your intent? Zach, I uh, that was asked earlier. I'm going to believe it when I see it, but if they add that, we're going to see some platinum benefits to the platinum card, I think, nerfed, taken away. And I'm curious what the earning rates will be, what the benefits will be, because if they come with the similar crap of, you know, a $250 airline credit makes it difficult for people to use. For me, it's not going to be beneficial. Like, does it come with Hilton Diamond status? That might be beneficial because I get gold status with the platinum. If you gave me Hilton Diamond, you know, I think Marriott Titanium or whatever the hell it's called. Like, if you give that level status, maybe with the breakfast, that might be beneficial for people. Um, you know, it's got to come with certain benefits on there that could be helpful for people. Um, it just can't be, a, it just can't be a $1,500 card with a bunch of stat, like a bunch of statement credits to not have a good, uh, not to deliver on an earning rate as well. David Amex, okay, let's see. Go Amex. I, David, I know you love your American Express cards. Sometimes I think you, 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 you were like so pro American Express. It's like, you know, like you were very much on that side. Keep your business platinum. Can you use it? That's awesome. Let's see. Charles says, I think the best thing they could do is take all those credits away and give us more categories to earn points. Um, I think it'd be great to see if they made the credits easier to use um, as well as better earning rates. That'd be fantastic. Let's see. The business gold is a sweet is sweet in the sense that I can make Forex on airfare, fuel the restaurants at any given month, and I'm not locked into any of them. Shamrock, I think that's great. I agree. I think the Forex there with that card is fantastic. Um, I think it is, I think it offers more opportunity for earning than the platinum card itself. You're just losing out on the benefits. And if you're okay with not getting lounge access, the gold card is where I think you should be paired with the blue business plus man, that blue business plus is a great card. Like I, it, you can make a got a lot of good duos and trios, uh, with the, with American express cards with that card there stuff. He knows. Yeah, man, I don't know what's going on, but I got a stuff. He knows now let's see. Uh, Team American Express. What's going on, Braveheart? How you doing? Let's see. I hope they make the credits easier to use. I'd put it uh, over the top. Yeah, I think it would definitely help them. You know, I'm still um I'm still uh earning cash back on my day to day and I earn points, you know, when the bonuses are high because it just fits into my travel travel uh habits and goals. So uh for me that's what works. All right. I think you know what? If there's no one other no other questions, I think I'm gonna call it a night. So if you're sticking around, still here, help each and every one of you have a great holiday, great Thanksgiving with your friends and family. You know, um, I appreciate all of you stopping by tonight. Um, let's, let's see. Tori says, do I have any premium cards myself? I do. I have the but U.S. Bank Altitude Reserve, which is my go-to card. So, yeah. so you just slides on up. But like, oh, that that is that is that is my favorite card in my wallet right now. Fantastic. Um I also have the Aspire credit card, which American Express has kept at $95 for me. So I keep it for that reason, just because of the fact it is super cheap for me to get the benefits of better, like good lounge access and diamond status. So for me there. So um, let's see. Uh, let's see. But anyways, everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. If you want to join the Facebook group, uh, join. I, it's under Waller's Wallet. You know, I do post deals in there. I try, I interact with everyone. I think is when I get comments in there. I am pretty active in the group. Um, I'll plug it one more time. Uh, spread shop. There's a link down in the description below. If you, Waller's, Waller's Wallet merchandise. Other than that, have a great turkey day with all your friends and family. I hope all of you have a great holiday. Uh, and I'll do another live stream sometime in December as well, right before the holiday time. Because like I said, I hate for you to have to abandon your friends and family to come hang out with me. So everyone, have a great night. Safe travels. Take care, everyone.